ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Shit's about to hit the fan. Welcome to Unsanctioned Thursdays on Wrestling with Freddy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to your bonus content. Wrestling with friends, wrestling with Freddy. Bonus material starts now. Welcome to another episode. Thank you guys so much for making Thursdays a regular thing. We appreciate y'all. Thank you for sharing the podcast with your friends. Thank you for making them listen to it. Thank you for the reviews. If you haven't left us a review yet, please do. Also, a bit of news. Make sure you subscribe to the premier streaming network, PSN. You can find it in the app store on your phone. You can download it for free. Be a part of it. Be a part of independent wrestling. I'm a part of independent wrestling because I'm a part of the premier streaming network, and you should be too. Mr. Jeff Dye, how are you today? What up, buddy? Feeling good, feeling fresh, excited to talk gimmicks. You know how I am. When it comes to gimmicks, that should be my nickname, Jeff Pro Gimmick Dye. You're wearing some gimmicks right now. You're very San Diego Padres gimmicked out. Um, I'm a Dodgers fan. I find it disrespectful. I find it a little dirty. You look unclean, my friend. Well, this is the dirtiest you've ever looked. I will remember this for future episodes. The last thing I want to do is 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 make the F in WWF upset. All right? Listen, I'll change. I'll yeah, change. Yeah. And don't wear any Houston stuff. We're not big fans of the Houston Astros. Oh, that's, that, I can, that's an easy promise right there. On Wednesday's episode, we were talking gimmicks, good and bad. And I mentioned one gimmick that I liked from The Undertaker that wasn't a part of his original character. It was a part of his American badass persona, and it was the Harley. So I thought in our bonus content this week, we could address the greatest vehicles in WWE. And let me say, Jade Cargill has not been driven out yet. I don't believe so. But what car would be better for her to cruise out in than your boy's 1976 280Z? It's Jade Green. With the Z's on the bottom, I could cruise her out. I'd wear like a sick green suit. I'd look awesome. She'd be in the passenger seat, roll up. The engine, that muffler's tuned up, so it's just all blub, 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 blub. We cruise in, then get out, open the door for the... She'll probably be champ again by the time this happens. Then she gets out, boom, gives me a pound, bam, and then walks to the ring, and I back it out. Don't crash into anybody because I can drive a stick shift like a G. No power steering in that bad boy. I don't care. I still parallel park like a gangster, Jeff. What do you think about that greatest idea in wrestling, right? I like that idea. She'd be fine with it. You know, I think people would be yeah, confused. Man. Like, is Freddie Prince? Why is Freddie Prince? What do you mean confused? They would go, oh, of course, because the car's so awesome that an awesome person has to get out of it. That's yeah, what they'd say. I think they'd be, be like, confused. wait, isn't he married? Like, why is, why is this happening? Well, yeah, they might say that. <laughs> Maybe this isn't. Isn't she with idea. that baseball player? <laughs> like, what's going on? You know, it'd be cool, though. <laughs> what? Eddie Guerrero's car. Oh. Driven. The low rider. By Freddie Prince I mean, Jr. Let's go. The Puerto Rican Prince. And you drive out <laughs> in the back, Zelina Vega, to the let's ring. Let's go. That's, I mean, you got all. I would, oh, I would do that in a second. We got all the pieces, that in a second. you know, we got the, we got the Puerto Rican piece. We got the LWO piece. We got the Zelina's a piece. You know what I'm saying? We got it. We got it all. You know, what we could do Escobar could cruise up in like an 80Z. I could cruise up in my 70Z on either side of the ramp. And we kind of like meet in the middle. And then Ray Ray gets out of one, Zelina gets out the other, and then they go battle in their intergender match against two assholes that are about to lose. I like this. I don't know why. What do you think about that booking? Why? What do you think about that, sir? Why isn't this? Why is? Why aren't we in charge? That's what I'd like to know. Why aren't we in charge? <laughs> Eddie's lowrider may low-key be my favorite of all the vehicles. I love being down low to the ground and almost feeling the street. But let's talk about all the classics. Let's talk about everybody's favorite. Well, maybe not everybody's, but I think everybody's favorite. Stone Cold Steve Austin's beer truck. I know I crap on the Attitude Era a lot. However, this is like a top 10 moment in professional wrestling. It's, it's so awesome. It's amazing. I know this is your your generation's wrestling, so I'll let you you take it away from here. What, the beer truck? It seemed like yeah, the beer truck. So I don't know if you guys know the famous horror film series Leprechaun. It started with oh, a hell yeah. Jennifer, a young Jennifer Aniston who had never been in a feature film before, and she goes right. 
she's like some hoity-toity girl who's like doesn't she's never been in the woods she's never been out of her little city life and she's this hot babe but her dad buys this house that hasn't been lived in forever and it's in the middle of nowhere and she's in the she goes into the basement and finds this box it's got a four-leaf clover on it but it's all dusty so she knocks it off and out comes this little leprechaun that's been living there forever who took some gold. And basically, he comes out. He's all ugly. He's played by Warwick Davis, who is Willow, also from uh, Wicked and Star Wars as one of the as the main Ewok. He was in he was the leader of one of the schools uh, for Harry Potter. It doesn't matter. He's a great actor. Here's the point. Once you said Willow, everyone was all the in. movie was such a hit. That they gave him like 75 more movies. There's like Leprechaun in the Hood. Leprechaun goes to space. Leprechaun 2, 3, 4. It just keeps going. Why am I talking about this? Because that Leprechaun rode everything. He killed a guy with a pogo stick. He killed a guy with a little RC car. He or not oh, those those little miniature cars that kids ride in if you if you grew up. Yeah, rich, the big wheels, yeah, the, the power wheels. Power wheels. He he rode. Whatever you can think of, this little leprechaun wrote it. And it seemed like in the Attitude Era, that's what Stone Cold was like. What is he going to come down in this time? He's got an ATV. He's got a, a truck. He's got a Zamboni. He's got, he, he, wrote, Zamboni. he wrote everything. So the beer truck was great because not only is it perfectly on brand for Stone Cold Steve Austin, he is the beer guy. He's drinking beers. He's chugging beers. He's spilling beers all down his chin and chest. He's, he's the beer guy. So not only does he ride the thing like he does every week, but he also gets to hose you down with beer. I mean, I think the beer truck is number one if we took a popular vote. I think it was it's edgy. It's cool. I, I think so. I, I would put... The milk truck first, just because I liked what a big F you that was. And it was like Kurt Angle's finest moment outside of winning the championship in Pittsburgh. But we like the milk truck but because it's like the hilarious Kurt Angle of version the of beer the truck. Stone Cold yeah. truck. Yeah. And it never exists if the beer truck doesn't. So beer truck, I think, does have to be one. You're right. And I, I think the Eddie Guerrero's like low rider with the hydraulics is cooler. But it's definitely not more popular or over, and it's and and Stone Cold is just completely perfect. Match yeah, I think for it would be car. number. I think it'd be three or four, either behind the milk truck or behind the beer truck, milk truck, and Undertaker's hog, as it was called. But the switches on it were so legit, man. Like when they got that thing bouncing, it looked so clean. It looked so clean. Milk truck is still. I put over beer just because it was funnier, but you're right. It doesn't exist without the other. JBL's limousine. Oh. How did you feel? it? Now, I only say it, it's really only memorable because John Cena just jacked it up mm -hmm. and beat it to hell and then spray painted JBL as poopy. <laughs> and then there were signs that read JBL as poopy for the next couple months. But I throw that in there as a little honorable mention than the 1976 280Z. What? What do you feel about JBL's limousine? Well, so here's what I think about the JBL limousine. Same way I put Undertaker's Harley riding in as like not in the top for me is because Undertaker's gimmick of what would perfectly match a motorcycle was a short period of time. It was only like one version of Undertaker that wasn't even like the most famous Undertaker. Like if, if they go, these from... Death Valley and Parts Unknown, and he comes out like in the 90s as the Undertaker in a motorcycle. You're like going to go, what? what's this? It was only that <laughs> Attitude Era motorcycle American badass Undertaker that the motorcycle matches. Same with JBL's at Limousine. He was a cowboy forever. And then he was in- He was. Then he was the he was a security guard. What was it? The Acolyte. The Acolyte, Acolyte that's Protection right. Agency. Which APA, <laughs> him and Ron Simmons came. They, it was they were awesome. They were, by awesome. The way. they were my favorite. The Acolytes were like one of my favorite tag teams ever. Perfectly just destroyed dudes. And I really liked them a lot. Yeah, man. So the limousine wouldn't have matched the Acolyte Bradshaw. It wouldn't have matched Cowboy Bradshaw. It only kind of rep recognized this like corporate new version of Bradshaw. <laughs> I am a wrestling god. <laughs> But you know what is a perfect match of, of character for me? When mm. you sent me to Nashville to cover SummerSlam, when I first was, got on this podcast, and Brock Lesnar comes out in that big tractor, and he doesn't just come <laughs> to the ring. He ruins the ring. 
He risks the safety of everyone involved in the front row of that thing, lifts up the <laughs> ring. All the people that work in there are going, God damn it. I can't believe they're letting this guy just destroy all the ropes and all the rings posts. And like, it was literally like, like it was reckless that they let Brock Lesnar and he, come And he's out laughing. He's, he's laughing he's while he's doing great. it. And he gets out on the bucket, jumps into the <laughs> ring, sits up there like, look what I did. So I think that's my, that's my top three is Brock in the tractor. That's awesome. Jeff, we're going to close the show. What tell the people though, because this is what I would want you to ride out in, and your manager would be in the sidecar. What was that motorcycle? Do you still have it? Did you sell it? I sold it. It's not safe out here in LA. Okay, I'm yeah, glad motorcycles are tough. You lived here. in Montana. Yeah, I'd say go ahead. <laughs> well, and also, I don't in have LA, the dog got... anymore. If I still had the dog, I'd have to keep that motorcycle just for him. He liked the wind in his face, the goggles on his eyes. Oh man! But without the dog, it's just like, what are you gonna put in there? Like a friend where you can't, they can't hear anything. They're all like low to the ground. You put Paul Heyman in there. <laughs> I don't you wanna... put your manager in there. Accidentally hurt you one put of my your friends. manager in there, dude. Well, maybe that's what you do. You put your manager in the sidecar, and that's how you come to the ring. That's actually a good idea. Except I don't bring my manager anywhere with me. He stays in his cushy well, No, your, rest, your, your wrestling manager. Oh, no, I get Not that. Not your professional one. Maybe he could bring me out in that thing. Whoever my manager is, he, <laughs> he drives. You're too, tall to, <laughs> you're too tall to fit in it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. We'll see you all next Wednesday with a brand new episode of Wrestling with Freddy. Wrestling with friends. Peace. We out. This has been a production of iHeart's My Cultura Podcast Network. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows.